Have you ever wondered about the shifting dynamics of power in the Middle East? Recent events between Iran and Israel may give us some insight. In the heart of this geopolitical tempest we find two key players, Iran and Israel, whose intricate dance of power and strategy shapes the landscape of the region. The recent escalation can be traced back to a bold move by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. He ordered a direct attack on the Iranian consulate in Damascus, the capital of Syria. This was no arbitrary strike but a meticulously planned offensive aimed at the jugular of Iran's military presence in Syria, its top officials. The attack was a calculated risk, a move on the grand chessboard of Middle Eastern politics. It aimed to deal a crippling blow to Iran's leadership in Syria, an attempt to tip the scales in Israel's favor. This was not merely a show of strength, but a clear message to Iran and the world. Israel was ready to take decisive action to protect its interests. But the political backdrop to this daring move was far from stable. The war in Gaza, a festering wound on the conscience of the world, was not going in Israel's favor. The Palestinian resistance remained as stubborn and determined as ever, refusing to bow to the might of the Israeli military. Meanwhile, Netanyahu's leadership faced mounting opposition, both at home and abroad. The attack on Iran was a high-stakes gamble in an increasingly precarious situation. But every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And Iran was not about to sit quietly in the face of such a direct challenge. The stage was set for a response that would send shockwaves through the region and the world. The initial attack set off a chain of reactions that would escalate tensions in the region but what was Iran's response? In retaliation to Israel's attack, Iran demonstrated its military prowess but what message was it trying to send? We're looking at a Middle East chessboard, where every move carries strategic weight and ripple effects. When Israel targeted top Iranian military officials at the Iranian consulate in Damascus, it was a bold and risky gambit. The response from Iran however was not just a reactive countermove, it was a calculated display of power that had far-reaching implications. Iran's retaliation came in the form of drones and ballistic missiles launched towards Israel. This was not just a tit-for-tat response, it was a showcase of Iran's military capabilities, a stark demonstration that Iran could hit back, and hit back hard. This show of force served dual purposes. It was both a deterrent and a warning a deterrent to dissuade further aggression, and a warning that Iran is not to be trifled with. Interestingly, this chess game isn't just between Iran and Israel. There's a third player involved, the United States of America. The US has long been a staunch ally of Israel, offering support both diplomatically and militarily. However, this recent conflict has brought the US under scrutiny. Critics argue that the US's unwavering support for Israel's actions fuels the flames of conflict rather than dousing them. But, what does this all mean? What's the bigger picture here? Well, the implications are manifold. At the most basic level, it's a reminder that power dynamics in the Middle East are complex and fluid. It's also a testament to Iran's military capabilities and strategic acumen. Moreover, it raises questions about the role of the US in the region. Should the US continue its unwavering support for Israel even when its actions are contentious? Or should it reconsider its stance in the interest of de-escalation and regional stability? These events have not only escalated tensions but also exposed certain vulnerabilities. So, what's the big takeaway here? In the wake of these events, one thing appears to be clear. Israel's weakness has been exposed. But what does this mean for the future? The recent events in the Middle East have shed light on a reality that is often overlooked. Israel, despite its reputation as a formidable military force, is not invincible. The recent attack on the Iranian consulate in Damascus ordered by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, was intended to demonstrate strength and resolve. Instead, it exposed a vulnerability. The stubborn Palestinian resistance in the ongoing war in Gaza, coupled with mounting opposition to Netanyahu's leadership, has revealed internal fissures that could weaken Israel's position on the global stage, but there's more. Iran's swift retaliation, launching drones and ballistic missiles towards Israel, underscored the fact that Israel is not immune to the military capabilities of its adversaries. This sends a clear message to the world. Israel, like any other nation, has its limitations. But what does this mean for the future? The potential for further conflict is palpable. The situation has escalated tensions in the region, stirring concerns about a shift in the balance of power. Israel's weakness, now exposed, could embolden its adversaries and provoke more aggressive actions. Furthermore, the United States, a staunch ally of Israel, is facing criticism for its support of Israel's actions. 
This could potentially strain relations between the two nations and further complicate the dynamics in the region. In the grand scheme of things, these events could be a turning point. They have shown that Israel's strategies may not always yield the intended results, and that its actions can have far-reaching unintended consequences. This is not to say that Israel is powerless, far from it. But it does suggest that the nation needs to reassess its strategies and prepare for a future where its actions are met with increased resistance and scrutiny. As we continue to monitor these evolving dynamics, one thing is certain. Nothing in the Middle East is as simple as it seems.